Here's another type of percent dissociation problem you can see when you're dealing with weak acids. This time, I'm giving you the concentration, but I don't know its identity. Let's just call it HX. And so I do an experiment, and I find out that at equilibrium, it's 1.32% dissociated. So I'm going to work backwards and figure out what's the Ka and what's the pKa for this acid. Because if I know the Ka or the pKa, I can look it up in my table and figure out which acid this has to be. All right, so I'm going to use that to identify my acid. And so here's my generic acid expression, and there's the Ka expression. All right, now the definition of percent dissociation is amount dissociated over initial concentration. All right, so it's the amount of hydronium at equilibrium over the initial concentration of the acid. So now we know this value, plug it in right here, and then we're going to just do a little bit of arithmetic to figure out our other piece. So, the problem tells me it's 1.32% dissociated at equilibrium. So to convert that percent back into a decimal, I need to divide by 100. Okay, and 0.35 is the initial concentration that was given to me in the problem. So now all I'm solving for is the concentration at equilibrium, so X. So X is just 4.26 times 10 to the negative third moles per liter. And so that's this concentration and that's this concentration. Now I know everything I need to know to be able to calculate Ka. So Ka is X times hydronium over HX. How did I go from this to this? I just subtracted out this value. That's where this bottom number comes from. All right, so this times this, right, because it's squared. And then I just subtracted it out to get this bottom number. And so my Ka is 6.1 times 10 to the negative fifth. And then to get a pKa, that little p just means take the negative log. So to convert a Ka into a pKa, I just take the negative log of my Ka, so 4.21. And now you can use your table in the back of your book, or you could Google it. You could find a table of Ka values. And once you know the Ka, those are unique to each acid, you could then identify this acid to figure out which acid it has to be. So that is how we work backwards to figure out Ka when we're given percent dissociation.